right move. Good evening. Hello. You're welcome. Merry Christmas. Uh, thank you for joining us. My name is Barry. And I'm Jay. And together we are with two Sucrafts. Welcome to our channel. So this evening I'll be creating two cards featuring the <laughs> free celebration stamp set dog detail dogwood. Uh, so it's free when you quali uh, when you place a qualifying order from uh, January 2024 to 29th of February 2024. I'll be mixing that up with other stamping up products from the annual catalog and i think it's yeah it's mostly in the from the annual so yes so if you are watching the replay do fast forward to the demonstration if you prefer as we will say hello to those of you who have joined us thank you so much for spending your christmas eve with us yes. so we have caroline hello connie uh cheryl hiya quinn we also have pauline hello hello maureen lolly and sand Sandy Makalo, uh, Maureen, hello, uh, Kisha, hiya, Linda, um, Heather, hello to you, Valerie, Mary Sickler, Susan, Mardi, Gian, uh, the Bling Bling Crafter, Pat, and I think that's everyone. Yes. Oh no, you have to go down. That's it, isn't it? It's weird because the, the bar isn't, it's only halfway. Okay. See? Oh, Sam, Sandra's possible too. Hi, Sandra. And say hi to Catherine there. And Catherine, hello, everyone. Hello. Happy holidays. Happy holidays, happy Christmas, yes. So, thank you all so much for joining us. Um, this sweater won't be staying on very long because I'm getting hot already. Um, so, I make the most of it now. <laughs> so, um. Because <laughs> I'm worth it. <laughs> Lovely. Anyway, so um yeah, shall we pick a winner for this card right here, which was the second card which I made last Sunday. So we're gonna give this one away now. So that was that one there. Okay, and we'll give that one away and then Jay is going to be crafting with the detailed dogwood. So anything you'd like to add? No. No? <laughs> Excellent. Should we go camera down yes. then? No, camera. Cam no, go yeah, that one. Um, so let's see if there was any more of you that came in. Oh, that's an easy number to add up, isn't it? <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> there we go. So the winner is going to be. Good luck, everyone. Yay, Charlotte. Charlotte. Congratulations, Congratulations to you, Charlotte. Please just um, formalities. Please email us, Barry and Jay at matusicrafts.com. Please pop today's date to the 24th of December 2023 in the subject line. And your full mailing address, please, Charlotte, and we will pop this card in the post to you. Congratulations. Lovely. So I'm going to hand you over to Jay and to where he will create something with this right here. He will create so something. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. Amazing. Congratulations, Charlotte. So, yes, detailed dogwood. From Well, thank you so much, Mary. Oh, thank you so much, Mary. The celebration, 4th of January to 29th of February. Um, and I'll do a simple card first. <laughs> what? Why are you laughing, Mary? Because he says simple. <laughs> and um, so I did think that this particular stamp set lends itself to kind of like more of a shabby chic um, kind of thing, um, card. But I'm going to do some clean and simple card. Look, it didn't even move my markers. Oh, sorry. I moved the top and bottom ones. Sorry. There we go. But um, the first one will be, yeah, clean and simple. And I'll be pairing, uh, I'll be using the border and this stamp because this stamp coordinates with the Petal Park um, punch. That one coordinates with the best label punch as well. Uh, and the inspiration for, uh, the color inspiration for this card is from the Global Design Project Challenge, which is a two week challenge, and I actually didn't make the. <laughs> I didn't make the um, deadline, so I didn't actually 
submit one. So yes, so the color challenge is petal pink, pool party, and daffodil delight. So I thought, well, um, they're quite springy, <laughs> subtle. <laughs> they're not really my colors, to be honest. But um, yeah, we'll create something. So petal pink card base. <laughs> Hi Sandra. Hello Tinet. Huh? They're definitely not your colors, aren't they? No, so that's why I thought I'll do some clean and simple one. So something um easy. What are we? So I'll just cut this down to twelve point five. So it'll give me a big border for the sentiment. I will use the kindest expression just because it's huge. <laughs> so I'll do thanks so much. So let us stick this down and just using the edge on top and eyeballing that to make sure that it's nice and straight hopefully ish it's fine so i'll be stamping on this one and we marked ours i thought that was the bottom but uh, actually afterwards i i found out it's the left hand side so hopefully it is the left hand side still And maybe I'll yeah I'll I'll have I'll have a thing. So what I'll do is I'll I'll stamp the sentiment first so I know where things are. So I've already got my petal pink card base. So I, technically, I don't have to use petal pink ink, but we'll see. We'll have a thing. So I'm just gonna do tuxedo black memento because after Christmas hopefully. Um, People send some thank you cards. So I thought this one would be nice. And I'm just gonna put that right at the bottom. Is that straight? That looks straight. It's a really nice sentiment. Uh, we, we hardly used it and you have loads of different designs for the background on here that's too small so block i is long enough and i will just do some stamping on here so I will do pull party oh actually shall I do gray sorry about the dogs the little one one's a big one out so I am adding smoky slate but it's a neutral I'm sure it's fine if it's not, blame me. Uh, so yeah, so do participate in the color challenge or any challenge in the future. Well, if, he says, Jay simple is always simple plus. <laughs> I'm gonna try and keep it simple. Well, that's, that's the plan anyway. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to, can you see my head? Randomly stamp. I was going to try and do five, but three is enough. <laughs> there we go.
And then for the flower, we're gonna do the three colors. So really simple, I think. All right. So daffodil delight. So before you stamp, so that's gonna be on the left hand side. So if I do it that way, that should be okay. Or that way. Okay, I'll do it that way. Where's my left side? Hi Janice! So every time of course you ink up. Just make sure you clean your stamps. I do like this in black as well, but I'm only gonna do three. So if you need more inspiration with this color combination, do you, who likes Sato collection? Let us know in the comments, the colors. It's quite, it's quite a babyish color. Like you can use it a color combination for a baby card as well or a project. So that should be when you fingers crossed. Yay! Is it? Is it? It matches. Yay! <laughs> So I can just go along. I'm trying to make it so that there's the same border around, but it matches the design. It's fine. I think it's there. Hello. Folded hugs by Deb. Folded hugs by Deb Cooper. Hello. Hi, Debbie. And Janice has popped on as well. Hi Janice, lovely card tonight, Janice. Yes, we were watching uh, Janice's live before we went on. And she used, I want to say, kindest expression, was it? No, sorry. I, I'm still trying to learn, <laughs> to learn the stamp set. But um, yes, check out Janice's YouTube channel and check out her projects. So there we go. Really simple for me, but hopefully for newbies as well. Um, stick this on. I could do some ink blending and which I did think, and I was gonna, instead of those dots, I was gonna do the botanical beauty, but I think this is fine especially if you, you if you received loads of gifts from Sanda <laughs> um, you'll need lots of cards so if you do have a stamping platform you can use that as well and instead of just free um, stamping freehand stamping these you can just use and or if you have the apparatus, you can move the plate or move your card if the platform doesn't move. So I'm just going to shape these. You can use the pierce mat. I'm just using my hand and the tombow or sometimes I use the take your pick tool, which is this one's got a, kind of like a nice not pointed but curved edge and we're just gonna add that on to there so is that simple enough parry for you it's beautiful thanks Mary says she likes subtle brights and in colors 
subtle brights and in colors i really like last year's in colors um you'd think i'd love the um, in color for this year but i'm still i i still i'd still use them um mix with something else and then finish up with some embellishment see i told you it'll be quick <laughs> did you hear him right i'm just <clears throat> excuse me i'm just gonna do the black one for the middle bits so do big ones or little ones big one little ones two big ones one small one there we go so we'll give away this card at the end of this live so if you haven't done a comment yet um just say hello it's nice and simple how would you step it up <laughs> let us know uh, so for my next one i'm actually gonna recreate or slightly change um my last artisan card so for this month we did curved occasions but curved occasion curved occasions is retiring but the curved label punch isn't so i'm gonna use the curved label punch and mix it in with detailed dogwood so where is my pie pop i've got my crumb cake this time There is, and for the layer, um, I'll show you the card later on, and I'm sure you know already if you follow us on Instagram uh, or Facebook. Uh, the layer actually used the craft note cards and envelopes because it's craft and it's different. Um, and I just cut it. Um, do I still have the second? Oh no, I know why because um, I did something with the second half. Uh, yeah, I'll use that. So I'm just gonna cut that. So the craft note card and envelope comes as a pack. Uh, there's 20 cards and um, envelopes in there, but obviously more if you cut into it. <laughs> and the uh, measurement for that. So, not 8.9 so three and a half by five inches or 12.7 i'm just gonna double check mine i cut it smaller than um that halfway point but before i cut it down to size I will stamp on it and emboss it. So for this one, we'll do some stamping. They go with cute C and fun. Yes, the um, was that the subtle colors? So that one, what? can I do so we have the burlap I'll stamp that one and oh let's do that one butterfly as well so long piece make sure it's straight small one so 
so yeah so i'm just gonna create some background on here so we'll probably use the same smoky slate which is where did i put it down <laughs> no idea bear with Where did I put it? What are you looking for? M the smoky slate. Have you used it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go crumb cake. <laughs> Would it show much? Oh. Do we have two smoky slate? I put it on there. Let's go smoke. We'll see. All right. So, again, I'll just have a piece want this one is what I'm gonna use and in yeah okay let's do that stamp off I'm just gonna do a couple of Can you see it? No, not really. <laughs> so I'll do first generation. That's better. Just do a couple of those. But I will be cutting it down. So I just want this um, crumb cake is a bit juicy. And then finally we'll do some, actually, maybe at the bottom just to fill it in. Go pecan pie. Hi Julie. Hi Karen. Right, let's have a look how big that is. That looks okay. I just want to add a bit more like stamping texture on there so that is now done I'm just going to emboss that so there's a couple of embossing folder that's carrying over as well from the current mini catalog and two of them we have which is the snowflake sky That one, so that's carrying for over forward. What what would you say? Carrying over. Carrying over. <laughs> Not, none of the above. <laughs> and the other one is this one, the distress style 3D embossing folder. 
So I'm just gonna emboss that piece and add even more texture. So plate number one and add that on. So it just add a bit more um, detail on there with the stamping on the background. I better put that back. And once I have the cutting plate, ooh, how, what frame? Do I have any frame? Ooh, I can use a new one. I need a frame. So, um, boho blue. Let's check how big you are. So the everyday details is from the mini. You can tell I've already designed this card. <laughs> yeah, that would look right. Okay, I'll do a tiny one. Would you be fine? Okay, I'll do a larger one. If not, I can always cut it down. But I forgot to clean my die the first time. Oh, it's too small. <laughs> Would you be okay? Oh, I'll just use that one. It's fine. So uh, it is the second and the third from the largest or the smallest. Originally, I used the nested essentials dies, but I thought, well, seeing as I'm changing most of it, I might as well just see how this works. I just need a frame. Oh, did you move? Yes, you did. Um, Cheryl, ask a question. Are you answering now? Um, no, I'm not. I will answer in a moment. I'll okay. Show you area. I see you. Right. There it is. I'm just gonna clean this. Do you, do you clean right after or do you clean when you need it? I normally clean when I need it. But sometimes it's annoying. <laughs> I'll be like, oh, I didn't clean it last time. 
There we go. So you have the dots, and I quite like it because it does um, coordinate with the dot uh, this side on there. So that is fine, and that one I can just save another time. Is that all I need? That is all I need. Right, we'll do some stamping. Now I have gone ahead and um, pre-colored one, but I will do one on camera as well. What's happening? The only thing with that is you can't raise it, but that's fine because you will see it. So let's do some stamping. That feels like a thick one. So as I mentioned, I'm going to be using this smaller blossom die. I'm guessing it's a dogwood flower. But it's it's a flower, so you can color it whatever. So for this one, I'm gonna use pecan pie for the branch. It is quite small, so. Just block coloring the branches would be enough. So that one was pecan pie light. Uh, old olive light. So there's tiny leafings on there. Right, Betty. Hi, Betty. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Hey everyone. Snow is falling. <laughs> um, so that was light old olive. And for the flowers, I'm gonna use dark fresh freesia and dark bubble bath. Ow. So um along the base I'm just adding the fresh freesia and then the bubble bath. I'm mixing the up on top. So every buds or blossom. Well, I'll just, just ask you a question there. Which is, could you raise it by cutting out a couple of extra frames and gluing them together? Yes, so you, you can make it more of a sturdy frame. Um, I just meant that if you want to raise it in dimensionals, you'll see the the dimensional on it. But yes, great idea. So you can make it more of a kind of like a thicker frame that way. But um, yeah, I won't, I, I won't be doing that. <laughs> there we go and. But thank you, yes. Like, um, kind of like what I did with the fun fold on Friday, but I only did two lots. Uh, but it was only to make it stronger. So it holds its shape. Right. Um, nearly done. With the coloring, so I guess if you don't want a fussy cut, you can always cut that down in a rectangular. I doubt that it will be, yeah, it, it would have fitted on there. 
but remember that this inner frame has got the uh, what you call that dotted border so you'll have a dotty border uh, so you might want a bigger frame like this one so you know that it'll fit so stamp it and then die cut it after so then you don't have to um, fussy cut it and then stick a colored one as a frame. I'll do that now So um, because when I explain stuff to Barry, he tends to look at me really funny and it takes him or it takes me four times to explain what I mean. So if I show you, then at least you'll know <laughs> what I mean because sometimes my explanation isn't that great. <laughs> So using the um, the same die that I used the inner cut, which I believe is that one. If you die cut that, I won't be using this um, particular. No, it's the big one, isn't it? Silly me, I'm so silly. So using that one. See, even I didn't understand what I was talking about. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, my world. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, so I won't be using this um, pre-colored pre um, topper anyway, so I might as well show you. So that looks like middle-ish. I guess you can cut down the bottom area. There is just do that one. No, there we go. So now you have that piece and then for the border you can add that on top so at least you have a border on that color topper but as I mentioned um, I have gone ahead and pre-cut fussy cut and pre-colored one so you can step it up like that uh, now for the inside bits I did use the take your pick tool um, craft knife which is yeah on this one so I'm gonna use that instead but I colored it the same way the same colors so that's done and the next bit I need is um, the punch the curve label punch so I'm just gonna be punching a couple of these I'll just put this away because It's getting too much in here. <laughs> so I'm saying, if you're saying that. I know. <gasps> so, curb label punch. One, two, three. So, I'm just gonna punch that three times. One, two, and three. So with that one, I'm going to use some more stamping blends just to color it. You can keep it white, I guess. But before I do that, I will just score on one of them. At three quarters of an inch or two centimeters. So three quarters have got um, a line on the paper trimmer. So I'm just gonna score that. 
on the left and then that can be folded down. I didn't punch that properly. That, I think that was too close to the cut um, edge. So I'm just gonna tidy that up. Normally it's fine. But sometimes if you punch quite close to the edge, sometimes it just does that. So, smoky slate, gray granite, uh, whatever you like. I'll do gray granite. I think it is going quite. So that, that. Most of these will be um, covered anyway, but I'm just covering that up. Yeah, I thought it was growing with gray granite. Or you can punch in gray granite as well. Do I have... Is gone. I thought I've just changed this recently. I'll get some more. I must have used it quite a bit then. Oh well, it's fine. <laughs> it's all good. So dark grey granite. Is dark grey granite still lighter than smoky slate? Okay, so we'll I'll just use those three then. It won't be as light. So dark gray granite, I'll just. Color the iron. I will just try and Mix that in. See, my bullet tip is fine. So I'll keep using that. But it just takes longer because obviously the bullet tip is smaller. Um, it's a smaller tip than the brush tip. And you might see the, the marks of it. <coughs> So that one's that one, that one is... Oh, I have to dark grey granite, what? Are you sure you got the lids on correctly? Yeah, <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> oh, so you just literally just going to put dark, dark on one and dark on the other? Probably. Uh, light gr See, I, I do have light grey granite. What? Light smoky slate. Oh, I'm getting confused now. <laughs> That's why I was like, why is it so dark? Okay. Apologies. So that's light. <laughs> that's dark. I will go dark. I can always... It's only a tiny bit. I can always punch another one. So basically, I'm just creating banners. But I wanted the banners to kind of like have 
a more of a three-dimensional look so I am coloring them so that's better I knew I ha my gray granite was fine I will cover all of them because I don't know how it's going to show that smoky slate. On the finished card. How's everyone? Everyone's still there? Yep. Right, so that's going like that. I will just punch another one. Yeah, see, that second one, I punched too close. Right. So that one, that one's gonna go there. So check my smoke is laying with dark. It's gonna go there, so around the bend. This one is going to be behind, so where's my smoky slate now? Smoky slate. So it's my light smoky slate that's going. Okay, that's fine. I have smoky slate. it that way so that back I'll add even darker so that is dark smoky slate that one that area will be hidden so I'm just gonna go down those in to the light hopefully that makes sense but I'm just doing gradient of colors there okay that's Great granite. It just says, I love it when Joe's, Jay goes off on an adventure like this, and the rest of us have no, no clue where he's going. <laughs> There's no, I don't think he does half the time. What are you? Dark smoky slate. I have labels, it's just I was too lazy to put them on, the new ones. So that's done. <laughs> He says, that looks done to me. Okay, so that's going to go like that. Um, you can blend it a little bit better. Uh, I'm going to cre create banners for that. That's done. What else do I need? Um, that one. Oh, I was going to um, cut that down to size a little bit more. So I have a bigger border. And where's my thing? Because the it's kind of thin thinner. Well, it looks the same. It could be actually it's fine, really as it is. I won't cut it down. I, I 
can see my um, card base it's funky though hi Lavinia so I'm gonna finish up I will just add a bit of ink blending on here so originally I used copper clay it was quite bronzy <laughs> bronzy maybe I'll just do oh no but that's the um, crumb cake isn't it okay I'll do copper clay just gonna highlight oh. too much I should have gotten the glass mat out shouldn't I so I'm just lightly adding and just making sure that that one was quite dark but hey ho Just picking up the raised areas. Because I don't want to cover it completely because the whole point was to um, have that different craft paper against the crumb cake as well but anyway that's done it's just to do that cool so now I'm just gonna create ooh, make sure that is the correct way oh, yeah. does that look like the same no it looks thinner so I do want uh, the border to be correct. Uh, I'll go 8.5. So that's too... Two centimeters. That's quite a lot. Smaller. 8.5 by 12. So now that that border should be okay along. So 8.5 is 3 3 eighths. Uh, what's that? 5 6. Or uh, 3 3 eighths by 4 3 quarters of an inch. But that's if you're using the same uh, dimension card base that we do which is eight and a quarter by five and a half or tw 21 centimeters by 14 centimeters right let us finish up so this one's just gonna go there you can distress the edges as well if preferred I'll keep it it's stuck now so <laughs> I'll keep it like that. Okay. So this one I'm just gonna add on. I probably need to tidy it up later on, but that's fine. So that is gonna go like that. So this die would probably be good with um, if you're not if you're not if you're gutting it like this, like the self adhesive because obviously it's it's not too bad, but I'm just being trying to be careful with my glue. Okay, and this one is slightly. It's a lot bigger than my original, but that's fine. So that 
is going like that. Yes, that's why. Or if you don't want to um, intertwine it, you can just keep it on top, of course. And that's going to get added on at the back. that's in place ish I can add the rest of them now I did add these in uh, with dimensional again in the original so you have more um, so now that it's on I'm just going to tidy that up and make sure there's no white areas are you light but i think it's not really white it's just because it's the light gray granite against the dark gray granite there we go and i can add dimensional up and I'm gonna cut a fish tail on there and turn that over and that gets cut on the edge so this one I will add dimensional <laughs> and I thought I was doing well with my timing earlier. <laughs> Not anymore. It's fine. I did color. You did. Keep telling yourself. Yes. So we will be going on um, soon. Are we? We are. Zoom is linked to the, the top. Yeah. So if you want to join us, um, chat whilst I tidy. Um, yes, please join us. Ooh. There we go. One more. Just a tiny one. Any questions, Barry? No. Mm, okay. Well, it's loving your banner, though. Shading is amazing. Beautiful card, so yes. Thank you. Well done. Right, so... If I did add, like, I guess... Daffodil Delight, because it's got and kept that petal pink it could have gone on to um, the global design project as well so I'm just gonna add the ribbon I'm just gonna use the same ribbon as, as I did before so this is the petal pink ribbon jewel combo it comes with the petal pink and the lemon lime twist so cut that and fold that in half oh. Oh. <coughs> and then again Dimen um not dimensional mini glue dot So that 
is quite there I'll cut it down again are you all done yeah that's gonna go there um, linen thread hello where are you we have some I think we have three <laughs> somewhere so I'm just gonna do my usual bow or you can make a faux faux bow I'm never successful with those so <laughs> Stick that down. Bin. There we go. Ooh, maybe I should have done the other way. <laughs> okay, you're going that way. Um, you'll just have to mini glue dot. Front and back. It's on the dimensional. I still need the, the um, what you call it? No idea what I watch my call it is, Jay. Does anyone else's that people the partners do that? <gasps> you pass me the thing, the what you call it. Um, I'm a mind reader now, am I? I still need the sentiment. What are you doing? Right. That's curly tail. That'll do. That'll do. <laughs> Love it. Um, so finally, oh, I was going to do my, my thing. Just show you. I guess I can do your, um, what sentiment did I use the last time? Oh, it's a huge one, so I won't use that one. I did bring sending hugs, um, sending smiles even, um, so because it's nice and straight. Where are we? Where are we? And you can, because it's photopolymer, you can curve it as well. Um, I'll just do birthday wishes, but I'll just do straight <laughs> because <laughs> why not? A note of thanks. Did I do thank you? Oh, no, I'll do birthday wishes. Birthday wishes. And I'll just do a straight line, which is... Yeah, that's fine. So purple, shall we go? Ooh, I could do yellow. No. <laughs> no. Uh, what's that? Gorgeous gray. We'll go. So it's per play. There we go. Let me just trim that down. just want it really thin but if you have that uh, paper guillotine 
Thank you so much, Carol. Oh, thank you so much, Carol. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. And that is actually just gonna be down there. What else is on there? Birthday wishes. Eleven big hugs. Yeah, no, we'll go with that. Okay, that's done. And dimensional, dimensional. I could cut it down to two, I guess. But because I colored the curve label, I didn't want to actually write or stamp the sentiment on it. But that's fine. Ooh. I want that tail to go down. There you go. Go down the way. <laughs> Just go wherever. <laughs> and then finish up with the same uh, did I say what this was? I don't even know adhesive back sparkle gems so again to of that and one on there Yay! I'm done. <laughs> wow. Finally! <laughs> so, um, there we go. So, dogwood, sending smiles, everyday details. That embossing folder, which is distress style. Uh, but of course, the dogwood is a free celebration item. Uh, for a 90 pounds order. So you need to make up your order to get that for free. Um, so the original card um, is this one with the curve occasions, um, nested essentials dies. And I did put the layer on dimensional and yeah, that was on dimensional as well. I did fast cut those elements and these gold flecks are actually the metallic enamel FX basics and I added a bit of water and splattered it but it takes not a long time but it takes longer to dry so that's why I didn't do that but hopefully you enjoyed that idea we're gonna do the thank you so much Gian oh thank you Gian We'll do the random draw for this card, which is really simple. I'm quite pleased with that one. It's very simple and very quick as well. And then you go from <laughs> uh, for like half past that, half past seven. Okay, we might be on time tonight. We're grinding yet. Sorry. We're good. All right, so I think I've got everyone's names in here. Let me just add those to the... Whilst Paris doing that, I will show you the second card that I did for that curve occasions. This one I was quite um I was quite happy with. Um I used the curve label punch. Or is that what it's called? Yeah, curve label punch three ways. So I did it for the topper. So I extended it. I did it for the end with the banner, so just using that one and inserting it. And I actually um trimmed it down for the sentiment that's what it's called uh, because normally it's quite thick so I just um, stamped it and actually stamped it on the off cut so I pre-cut one so you have the curve already stamp it on there and then reinsert your your punch so you can have a, a smaller 
label Ooh. for your sentiment so it fits or if you have a really tiny sentiment like that one because I thought it, it kind of like l quite a big gap or frame around the sentiment so that's how you can do that I really like that one lovely broom, broom. Broom, broom. lovely all right so let's go over to the random draw and we'll pick a winner for this card right here so let's go over there there we go so good luck everyone the winner is going to be we all wish you good luck <laughs> push me and the winner is Gian. Gian. congratulations there Gian. Well done. That card will be working its way over to you. Do please email us, Barry and Jay at matusucrafts.com. Please pop today's date, the 24th of December, 2023, in the subject line. And your full mailing address, please, Gian, and we will pop this card in the Yay. post for you. Lovely. And if you'd like a chance of winning this one, then all you need to do is just come back and leave us another comment in the... Um, in the comment place after the video, after this live video, some separate to the live chat. And we will give that one away next Sunday. Oh no, maybe not next Sunday. It'll probably be in the New Year now because we won't be here next Sunday. Um, because it is New Year's Eve. Um, and I hope to have a few drinks in my hand by now. So, um, <laughs> so we won't be here next Sunday. Maybe we'll see. We'll, we'll see throughout the week whether or not we're going to do anything. We will. Um, maybe we'll come on Saturday. Mm. We could always do Saturday evening. I oh, know we know we're out Saturday night as well. So, oh yes, New Year, I reckon. So you might have two weeks to, to, to go to post it uh, to do this one. So just leave us a comment in the normal chat, and we'll we'll do a drawing for this one in the New Year. So. Um, but I think on that note... Yes, thank you so I much, everyone. Are, yes, so we are going to go over to Zoom. The link is pinned in the live chat at the moment. So do hop on, come and say hi to us. We're, um, whilst Jay's just tidying up and I cook dinner. And yeah, we'll be, we'll be sorted. So, But if we don't see you on Zoom, we just want to wish you all a very Merry Christmas or Happy Holidays. And um, thank you so much for joining us. And thank you, everyone, for your Super Chat stickers tonight who has um, donated. So very much appreciated. Yes, thank you thank so, you. so much. Um, so lovely. Well, on that note, hope Santa brings you lots and lots of presents tomorrow. Um, and you've all been good boys and girls. <laughs> we haven't. Uh, we haven't. So we're not getting presents. Um, so we will see <sighs> you. Um, we will see you next week sometimes yes. take, so, care, take everyone. care everyone and we'll see you very soon yes take care bye bye bye, bye.